back to my channel today we will still continue with chapter 6 circular motion so in this video we will discuss on questions related to pendulum okay so the pendulum is uh, moving in a circular motion okay questions number 10 a ball of mass 1.34 kg is connected by the means of two massless string meaning that the string mass we can ignore it to the vertical rotating rod and the string is uh, tied to the rod Okay, it's given the tensions of the upper string is given the tension of the upper string is 35 newton so first we must draw or sketch the free body diagram of the ball okay so here we have uh, mg and also there's a uh, two string so we label it as t1 and also t2 and uh, T1 and T2, the value is not equal because they are two different strings. Okay, so T1 is not equal to T2. Okay, number one, calculate the magnitude of the tension in the lower string, meaning that we want to find what is the value for T2. Okay, so based on the free body diagram, okay, we have Mg and we have T2, T2 is the tension of the lower string and also T1. Okay, so before you do uh, find T1 and T2, you must find the angle first. Uh, angle, the theta this is uh, the string is 1.7 and here because half only, so is this is 0 0.85. Okay, so I will take only half of 1.7, so it's 0 0.85. So we need to find the angle here. Okay, so we can use sine theta because it's, the angle is opposite. It's equal to 0 0.85 over hypotenuse 1.7. So at theta, at sines, you will get 30 degree. Okay, so here is 30 degree. Similar, here also 30 degree. Okay, because they are same length and also the distance also equal. Okay, so this is 30 degree, 30 degree. Okay, so based on this free body diagram, how many uh, equations that we can form? Yes, uh, of course, there are two equations. The first one is x component. The second one is y component. Okay, the question asks us to find the tensions in the lower string. Okay, so we can write two equations. The first one is f net. Okay, for x component equals to ma, where x component here actually we are referring to the centripetal force because this ball later it will move in a circular motion okay like this okay it will move in a circular motion meaning that our fc is towards the center okay so our fx here actually we are referring to our centripetal force and our centripetal force is x component so it's in the this direction uh, in this direction this is our fc the directions of sc so fc x component here t1 cos 30 is actually positive uh, because it's if you resolve it will same direction uh, okay if it, when we resolve t1 it will go to the left and upward okay so it's positive T1 cos 30. Okay, similar for T2. T2 also move to the left and downward. Okay, so our T2 also we must try it as positive T2 cos 30. Okay, where FC here, FC here is NV square over R. Okay, equals to T1 cos 30 plus T2 cos 30 okay so this is for x component uh. we substitute all the value 1.34 v v is the velocity where v we don't have the velocity okay so we cannot find the velocity okay so we just leave it r is the radius of course we cannot take 1.7 radius is here okay because our uh, radius is at this point so we can find by using uh, by using 
Okay, if let's say we want to find R, we can use uh, tangent theta to find. Okay, or you can also use uh, uh, cos theta to find also can. So since I use tangent theta, meaning that is 0 0.85 over R. Okay, so our R is equal to 0 0.85 over tangent 30 degree. So you will get 1.47 meter. So you substitute inside here 1.47 meter equals to T1. T1 is 35 cos 30 plus T2 cos 30. Okay, so this is our first equation where we cannot find T2 because we have two unknown. No? We have V and also we have T squared, uh, T2. Okay, so we cannot find, we must use the second equations. Okay, second equations, we must use Y component equals to MA. Okay, so for Y component, this ball only moves in, uh, in a horizontal circular motion. Uh, the ball is not going up or down. So therefore, our acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, so Fy meaning that is equilibrium. Okay, force acting upward must equal to force acting downward. Okay, so for here, our T1, T1 here is acting upward. So T1 upward, T1 sine 30, okay, plus T2 sine 30, why T2 sin 30 negative? Because T2 is downward. Okay, plus negative mg. Again, mg also downward. And it's equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, we can write it as T sin 30, force acting upward, equals to force acting downward. Okay, you can straight away write this equation also, never mind. T1 sin 30 equals to force acting downward. T2 sin 30 plus mg. Okay, so we substitute all the value. T1 is just now is 35 sin 30 equals to T2. T2 is um, value that we want to find sin 30 plus mg. M is 1.34, g is 9.81. Okay, so from equations 2, actually we can find T2 huh? because from equation 2 straight away we can find T2. So you rearrange back the equations 35 sin 30 minus 1.34 times 9.81 over sin 30. Okay, so you press calculator, you will get T2. T2 meaning that the tension in the lower string is equal to 8.71 Newton. Okay, remember to write unit in Newton. Okay, so the first one we already get the answer. Okay, B. Find the net force on the ball. Okay, net force here actually we are referring to centripetal force. Centripetal force. Okay, so centripetal force uh, is equal to MA. Okay, centripetal force is equal to MA. We can use our centripetal force uh, okay, from here, our FC here. Okay, from just now, FC equals to T1 cos 30 plus T2 cos 30. So we can use the equation 1 to find FC. Okay, so FC equals to T1 cos 30 plus T2 cos 30. So T1 just now is uh, 35. 30 and T2 8.71 cos 30 okay so finally we will get 37.9 Newton okay and the direction is always inward or towards the center okay okay C find the speed of the ball okay from the equation one just now uh, we found that we have two unknown V and also T2 so now we already have T2 so we can find our velocity okay so we can press calculator uh, substitute all the value inside where our T2 now here you substitute 8.71 okay uh, you will get 6.45 meter per second okay question is 11 the figure shows a conical pendulum with the board of mass 80 kg and the long 10 meter long 
10 meter long string making an angle of 5 degree to the vertical okay so sketch the free body diagram okay so this is the questions related to conical pendulum okay so conical pendulum here we must uh, sketch free body diagram first so we have weight we have tension and also okay two frost only because we have we don't have normal we don't have friction and we don't have external so we only have two frost okay so i will draw it here okay where we have mg and also tension okay the angle here angle here is five degree okay five degree meaning that uh, this side will equal to 85 degree okay so this is a free body diagram for questions number 11 okay determine the tension in the string okay so here if it refers to this conical pendulum this conical pendulum actually will move in a, a horizontal circular motion as well as um, our f net will always towards the center so this is our fc okay fc here it will always towards the center okay if you are referring to this point if you are referring to this point fc will into this point okay so remember our centripetal force will always towards the center of the circle okay so here again we can resolve into two equation fx equals to ma okay so fx here because this is like a horizontal circular motion our fx here is actually is fc Okay, it's equal to if you resolve t, if you resolve t, we will get t cos 85. Okay, because our t we can resolve it into to the right and upward. Okay, so t x is equal to t cos 35. And this is our first equation where we can find the tension. Eh? Nv square over r equals to tension cos 85. So we try to substitute the value at t v we don't know r okay r not equals to 10 meter okay because r here we are referring to the circle okay the radius of this circle okay we are not referring to the length okay so here we need to find out what is the radius huh? the length here is 10 meter and what is the value for r and we know that the angle here is 5, 5 degree. So we can take sine theta. Okay, sine theta equals to r over 10. Okay, so our r is equal to 10 sine 5 degree. Okay, 10 sine 5 degree. So we press calculator, 10 sine 5 degree. You will get the radius is equals to. 0 0.872 okay so you substitute into here 0 0.872 okay so v square is the value we don't know equals to tension cos 85 okay so this is equation one okay where we don't have uh, we cannot find the tension because we don't know what is the speed okay so similar, we cannot find V and T like questions uh, 10. So we need to use Y component. Okay, so FY equals to MA where A equals to 0 because your pendulum is not going up or down. Okay, so Y component equals to 0 meaning that the force acting upward will equal to downward. Okay, meaning that our TY, TY is equal to weight. Or we can write T sine 85 equals to mg. Okay, so our T sine 85 equals to m 89.81. Okay, so therefore our our tension is equal to 0 a uh, 787.8 newton. Okay, so this is tension. Okay, next we want to find the speed and the period of the board. Okay, so we want to find the speed where now we already found our P, uh, our tension. So now we just substitute 787.8 into equation 1. We will get the velocity. 
Okay, so we just use V equals to 787.8 cos 85 degree times 0 0.872 over 80 and then square right so we need to square root okay so finally you will get the velocity equals to 0 0.865 meter per second okay next question is number three find the radial accelerations of the board so since we know that our acceleration is equal to v square over r where we already found our velocity velocity is equal to 0 0.865 square and the radius just now we already found 0 0.872 so therefore if you press calculator we will get 0 0.858 meter per second square okay so that's all for this chapter Thank you class and have a nice day. Bye.